these guys do have a lot more legs and are far busier than I would imagine our male lion is. Look at how many of these ants are crawling all over the place. So they're going all over the camera, up and down this knob thorn. And what I think has happened is because this knob thorn has been stripped by elephants of its bark, it's exposing areas where there's a little bit of sap. And I think these ants are trying to get at that sap and are feeding off it. And that's why they are just hundreds of thousands of them going up and down. It really is quite chaotic to see how many ants they are and they're just moving up and you see them feeding a little bit and then they go again and the particular species of ant I'm not 100% sure of I think we here in South Africa refer to them as red ants but I'm trying to find their scientific name I haven't found it just yet but it looks like them it's difficult to see though ants are not the easiest things to identify out here there's not very few books um, on ants in South Africa so I'm gonna try to see if I can find an ant book because as we get into summer now, so ants are going to be a big feature in what we do. But how cool are all of these guys? Isn't this just incredible? The tree is literally alive with all these tiny little microscopic ants going about their business. And they are in full active mode. There's lots of busy movement and slowly but surely they're going up and down, like I say, and feeding off the sap that is being leaked out from the tree but look at that they're just everywhere it's just a complicated mess it looks like the traffic when you go to india or ethiopia <laughs> there's just everybody going in every direction possible as they move around really is something that you would never see otherwise and it's only because we walked within a meter of this tree that we noticed this movement it otherwise would have been very difficult to see these guys from a road and like i was saying earlier this is why bushwalk is just so much fun is because you see lots of different things that you would never be able to see from a vehicle this would not be something that you'd be able to spot at all we're also in an area way away from roads and there's just this hive of activity looking you can see how they touch each other every now and then work out who it is what they're doing sending messages as to where they need to go and what they need to do it really is quite phenomenal to see just how many there are and how they communicate with one another and you can see there's a little bit of bumping into each other but it's more just to kind of feel out who everybody is and get a pattern going again of up and down i think us standing here has caused them to be a little bit more erratic in their movement they were a lot more linear going north or sort of up and down earlier but they're now sort of scattering around a little bit and just checking out what's going on maybe they're making sure that everybody's safe and not and not being attacked by somebody. 